And without further ado to our first best of three matchup of the night. It's Ambition. He will be taking on the uh, I Am Athena player, I believe this is Baby Huna. Now, Baby Huna traditionally plays the AD carry role for I Am Athena, but tonight she'll be switching things up into a little bit more of a supportive. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Solo King, a 1v1 Korean tournament here featuring your favorite players, teams, and champions from this season of champions. Getting into our first best of three of the night between CJ Antis's ambition, facing off against I am Athena's baby Huna. Yeah, and as we can see, we're already having a little bit of variance from what we've seen in the summoner spells in the prior games. Ambition opting to go for heal teleport rather than that flash teleport. As we can see, Huna is rocking that at the moment. We've been seeing flash teleport probably the most consistent set of summoner spells that we've seen so far. It's very safe and very, uh, it is consistent in itself, you know? Yeah, there are a couple of different setups as far as summoner spells that you can go. If you're running an, an all-in champion, like uh, a lot of junglers will go with Pantheon or Jarvan, you're gonna wanna all-in. So you usually go with a Flash Ignite summoner spell setup. We've seen Ignite teleports, but they just don't really work quite as well because you need the Flash to follow up for extra damage because you're looking to kill the guy. Uh, and so if you're looking to just stay in lane and make sure that you're as safe as safe can be, you want that heal. Uh, it's maybe not quite as effective as barrier, but it does give you the extra movement speed, which once again can help you keep, help keep you alive as well. And you're going to see a lot of crystal and flask starts in this tournament, but mm -hmm. this match is actually a little bit of an exception with both players actually starting with Doran's items. Yeah, I think this is actually the first one we've seen where there are no crystalline flasks whatsoever. As we can see, though, some auto attack trades already coming out. Yuna being taken down. That's just the brunt power of Ambition's Caitlyn. So you can see those headshot uh, headshots are coming in. Hmm. Yuna down to about half HP, but Yuna holding her own in this lane so far. Both opting to go ahead and pop their first uh, fla pots. Most yeah, flasks. And they have those yet. <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't have flasks yet. Honestly, they probably won't pick them up this game. Uh, just opting for more of a lane-centric playstyle to say, look, uh, we do have teleports to go back to base, but they're probably just going to look to do, duke it out here in uh, the early lane phase. Now, uh, Ambition playing this lane maybe a little bit sloppily. He's missed a lot of Piltover Peacemaker damage on the wave, uh, which would have caused it to you know, push a little bit more quickly and uh, this is being played on patch 5.3 so the most recent live patch and uh, so you can see the range indicators on all of Zyra's plants which should help us uh, see exactly where Ambition is going to go whoa a lot of damage put down there does not yeah. have flash to close the distance here does have to keep himself safe under 100 HP yeah Huna doing a very excellent job of just beating the crap out of Ambition really uh, just really firing on all cylinders and just pumping out the damage. As we can see, she is a little bit low on mana. Here comes a built over piece. Oh, Where's the flash? The Wait, 90 the... caliber net. Yeah, 90 caliber net with the headshot up off the passive from Ambition's Caitlyn. Secures himself that kill. As we can see, he decides to go aggressive right here. Lands that built over peacemaker. One auto, auto attack and. Nice 90 caliber now to get him in range for that, and the headshot just finishing it off. Very nicely played by Ambition, who takes game one.